Hey, hey, what is happening? Here's Quasar here, and you are in Quasar's Customs. We're playing a little Karma Cake Simulator 2018, and we are doing movie cars. Today, we are doing another Tom Cruise movie, Jack Reacher. Actually, this is like, uh, I've been looking for this car for a while since uh, Jeffrey Scott, big shout out to Jeffrey Scott. He was the one that suggested this car um, and the movie. So big shout out to him. It took me a while to find this car, but I finally, finally nailed it down and got a hold of it. Um, another movie that I, I thought I had seen, but I really don't think I've seen it. So, you know, after catching a couple of videos on YouTube, I'm like, you know, I've got to, uh, I've got to catch this movie, um, just to get um, some more research into it. I did look up, you know, when I was looking up the movie didn't realize there was another Jack Reacher movie out um, so there's two Jack Reacher movies so the first one came out in 2012 I believe uh, which would be this one right here so this one is the 2012 one and um, there was one that came out in 2019 that dry shaft's a little off hmm. so there was another one in 2019 that uh, came out too so I'm going to have to check those out I'm going to have to search for them on Hulu or Netflix or something and uh, definitely going to have to check those out because they actually do look interesting uh, while I was was doing the research uh, besides the two movies didn't realize there was 24 novels by a British author by the name of uh, Lee Child so that's cool I didn't uh, realize these were books so it almost kind of gives me that whole, you know, Tom Clancy um, vibe, that's what it seems to give to me. So, uh, if you guys have, have read any of Lee Child's novels, hey, let me know. Is, is it worth the read? Is it worthwhile? Um, if so, I may have to pick these up and, you know, I'll, I'm not a reader. I'll, I'll be honest, I'm not a reader. So, uh, if they're any good, though, I may give it a shot. So with this movie, uh, I guess Jack Reacher is this army kind of lawyer type guy, right? Uh, so I guess he goes around, goes around the country, uh, actually righting the wrong of of uh, you know military personnel who get involved or get arrested. Um, they're unjustly incarcerated or something, you know. So he is the he's the guy that uh, helps him out. So in this one, there's some guy that's uh, been uh, I think he's been incarcerated for uh, shooting or uh, sniping, basically sniping. Um, just random civilians so Jack Reacher gets involved and Reacher knows this guy so he knows that this guy isn't uh, one of those guys that would do something like this so he's gonna go out and help Reacher or help this guy try to clear his name right so that's basically what the movie is about so to me hey hey I'm all for it. I, I think uh, this is, is going to be a good movie to, to sit down and watch, so I'm going to have to find it. Um, and knowing that there's, you know, 24 books, wow. Uh, yeah, like I said, if you, got, if, you, if you happen to have read any of these uh, Lee Child books, let me know. Uh, is it worth the while? Is it, is it worth it? And uh, if it is, uh, I'll take you up on the... Uh, advice and I will definitely definitely pick one up so how is everyone doing I hope everyone is doing happy and healthy right now it's just uh, you know every day is just another day sometimes just reading the news can be depressing enough so I'm glad that you are here enjoying this video with me instead of watching the depressing crap that's going around the world Jeez. anyway a big shout out to a couple of, couple of followers. Uh, got Drunken Peanut Ice out there. That's uh, kind of a crazy name. But uh, um, talk with them every once in a while uh, through message. And hope everybody is doing, hope he is 
they are doing well as as well. Uh, also, pay to car. Pay to car is always uh, sends me a message. I'm always trying to uh, pick up the slack, as it were, to uh, keep on top of the messages. And I will say, uh, for the most part, guys, you know, I do my best to keep up on the messages. So if I hear other people hitting me up for messages, just be known that I do hit them. I do try to catch them as often as I can. If you don't hear from me a couple of days and nothing's wrong, I just probably don't catch you. probably got busy, so... Um, no fears there. But yeah, thanks a lot for all the all the messages, and I hope everyone is doing great right now. If we build a Chevelle, I don't. If we've had we've built a couple other Chevelles before, and uh, just being a Jack Reacher car, man, I I just I, I love it. Oh, oh wait a minute, we have the rims here. Okay, so. These are the rims I'm going to be using, and these are 16-inch rims. I think I'm going to stick with the 16-inch rims, to be honest with you. Hmm. Okay, so the rim's in good shape, and these are the rims. A little more chromier than uh, maybe what they should be. Oh, I should say, we need to have them a little more chromier than this. But, uh, of course, we can't have it that way. We can't have... We can have painted and chrome. That would be that would be way too much. Wish we had that. Because these would look awesome chromed. Um, Alright, so what are our tires? 305-45. 305-305-45. I'm going to go with these. 18s, 305-45. Forty fives, yeah. I'm I'm sticking with what's on there because it seems like it, it the car had a nice stance. No. Oh, these are sixteens, not eighteens. What am I doing? So I need to get two of these or sixteens. That's what that's what the problem is. We'll go three oh five forty five. There we go. Alright. Yeah, just wasted a lot of cash on that, didn't I? Um three oh five forty five, yep, there we go. Dump in here and get rid of these 18s. Jeez. I'm a dork. Oh, no, 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 no. What am I doing? What am I doing? Oh, my gosh. All right. Slap me around. Getting my time on the tire changer today, that's for sure. Now, if I had taken it off and balanced it like I was going to, that would have been another thing. Um, yeah, California plates. I don't even know where the where the Jack Reacher series uh, was filmed at, so that might be. I don't have the. I don't remember catching the license plate, so that's going to be. Just got to make something up, I guess. Yeah, I, I, I love these wheels. I li they're a classic, um, they're almost like a classic Pontiac GM wheel here. I, and I actually, I, I actually do like these. I really, really do. Um, come on. What the hell? Jesus. All right. Game's acting a little crazy tonight, so. All right, so that one's done. Um... Yeah, I thought, well, maybe I'll switch it up and just do the engine real quick, but I've already got the car in here. I've already got this all done. So I don't think I've seen it yet. Uh, Tom Cruise has got a new movie out, you know, the Maverick, the Maverick movie, you know, Top Gun, like Top Gun 2. Now, come on, you guys, you, you know you want to see it. You know you want to see it. Uh, if anyone has seen it, please let me know if you liked it. Or is it even out yet? I, you know, with the, the whole pandemic thing, it's really thrown me off as far as the movies. 
I don't know if it's out yet. I don't know if it's, you know, if it's in theaters, if it's, uh, I, I don't know. I just don't know. It's been a crazy, crazy year. So nothing is normal. And we definitely need normal in our lives. That's for sure. So I'm hoping that at least I can keep a schedule with these videos that will keep you somewhat normal. God knows we need normal. But yeah, I don't remember. Jeez. It was supposed to be, I think it was supposed to be out this year, much like the Fast and Furious movie was supposed to be out this year. Everything got canceled, delayed, or um, everything was set back, you know. I don't know. Like I said, everything is so crazy. We really need, we really need some normalcy in our lives, that's for sure. Here, chassis. Yep, there we go. I used to have, uh, back when I was growing up, I had a neighbor that had a 70 Chevelle, and he'd only bring it out every once in a while. I lived on a dirt road, to be honest with you, so, you know, kind of one of those, um, I don't know what you, you know, I, I, I hated living on a dirt road. I just, I really did, just because. I would clean my car and my car would be dirty in two seconds, you know. So I hated it. I would clean it up at home and then I would drive it, you know, away from home to the closest car wash and then I would clean it again. I'd rinse it off again and wash it again when I was in town. And then before I would go out, you know, before, before I went out for the night. That's how I, I, I just hate living on a dirt road. But this guy had a 1970 Chevelle. Uh, it was a dark blue. I want to say it had white stripes on it, if I remember right. Um, and, dang, I mean, I just remember seeing the car going, man, that is one nice machine. And he always kept it, kept it nice looking, you know. And I don't know how he kept it nice looking, because I tell you what, it was a... The dirt road is just, it was horrible. And like I said, I hated it. I hated living on it. So I, I can't even imagine owning a car like that and trying to keep it clean on a dirt road. It was it would be ridiculous. Uh, let's see, cross member D. Man, the whole suspension is uh, shot here. Holy cow. And I noticed my mouse is acting a little goofy too. So if you see, you know, when I'm scrolling and something doesn't look right, that's probably because my mouse is acting a little goofy. I don't know why that is, to be honest. Uh, over here, let's go ahead and put some shocks together. Thank you. Let's take you apart. Ooh, that rim's not going to work. Um, that rim will, so I need a 16 inch Atlanta rim. So let's go ahead and get a 16 inch Atlanta rim. Okay, got one of those. And typically I don't, I don't uh, fix the rims, but, you know, I think, figured why not on this one. That fixed up. Uh, what was our size? What size tires do we have here? Um, sell off all these rotten old parts. There we go. Uh, 215.55. Okay, so 215.55 it is. Uh, 2.15. And a 55. Gotcha. Now I did, I, I will say this. When I was looking to make sure I was getting the right wheels and tires on this car, go take a look for yourself. Different shots of this car in the movie, they have different rims on it in some shots. Now I, I don't know if it's just me, 
be in particular or what, but it, I mean, when you're doing a movie, you should, you know, try to do it as a close, you know, every shot should be about the same. But, um, if you take a look, there's like, um, there's one shot, like the front rim was like a regular typical steely. Uh, uh, I think it was another shot where the rear, uh, the rear rim was a steely. So, yeah. If you catch those, if you catch that in the movie, you're doing better than anyone I think. But it, you know, if you see it in a still, like a, a snapshot of the car in the movie, then you go back and watch the movie. Go, yeah, that was a movie. That was a movie screw up there. One thing I like about, um, I do like about Tom Cruise's movies is that he does do, for the majority of them, he does do the majority of his own stunts. Which is actually kind of cool. I mean, let's be honest. Somebody who does their own stunts in a movie, it's more believable. The movie is, it makes the movie a little more believable when you're watching it and it sucks you in even harder. So, yeah. Um, I like that. I like that when, you know, these guys are doing their own stunts. Talk about being committed. <laughs> Committed to the scene. Yeah, that would be crazy. All right. Now, we do have a Magnum engine in this, of course, but uh, it is a Chevy Orange, and it does resemble a 396, which a 396 would have been the uh, engine of choice for an SS Chevelle, I believe. 396 was a big block. I don't think 454 would have been there, but it could have been. So either 454 or 396. Uh, I'm not a big Chevelle guy, so I don't really know all the ins and outs of the Chevelles. So. All right, it looks like I've got those all in pieces all set up. Yeah, look at that bright, nice, shiny wheel. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I had to look up them shots, and I'm like, oh, man, that's a that's a bad movie shot there. Because I thought for some reason these had the, the it had the uh, Krager SS type wheels on it, which I'm cool with. I like those. Uh, I use them. I use them often on some of the old school builds that I do. But um, I, I'm I'm glad that these were the choice or were the ones that were on the car because I do like these on these types of cars and on the Pontiacs. See, I would love to be able to chrome these wheels and the black stay black and the rest of it be chrome. That would be awesome. Okay, now I've got a I've got a bushing left, so I must have a bushing. Did I get No, nope, that bushing's there. That bushing's there. That bushing's there. Bushings there. Okay, maybe I picked up 13 instead of 12. Yes, I did. More money lost. <laughs> you know, it's a good thing I don't run my own shop because I'd be losing money hand over fist. Lee Child character, this author of these movies, he's uh, I think he's British, and just for an off-the-wall random thing, right? Um, I was watching a uh, a British uh, show. Basically, it's um, you know they're finding houses uh, in Europe, right? So um, I'm watching it, and this guy said that. Um, what was he saying? They were looking for uh, a particular type of house, right? And the realtor had found him the house, and the realtor was asking him how, what he thought about the house. The guy had said basically that he was bang on. I went, bang on? What the hell is bang on? So, but I thought it was quite funny that he said it was bang on. So instead of saying spot on, it was bang on. British. They're so funny. Love it. Um, that wasn't going to work out, so we're going to have to go in here. 
and go to the brakes and pick another one of these brake servos up because that did not meet uh, anything on the on the bench over there and it didn't even show up on the bench so yeah that thing was in sad sad shape and I forgot to pull the transmission out when I did this all right This is a car that you just about take everything off of, you know, like the bumper, everything. It's just like, holy cow. Rip it down, almost down to parade rest here. Um, bumper? Yeah. We're just going to take everything off of this, and then we'll deal with it in a little bit. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, transmission. Oh, is that a start on it, really? Surprised. Okay, so just for giggles, just in case, where was I? You know, I've 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 noticed that I've had a couple of cars that have oil in it. So, yep, this one did have oil in it. Hmm. Interesting. This was a junkyard find. Typically, all my junkyard do not have oil in it. So that's 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 interesting. All right, well, lower it down. That's fine. That's fine. I don't care, but... Ah, this engine is... Um, wow. This is this has got a lot of stuff to it. So maybe... Should I rip this down? I want to rip it down to the block. But man, it's going to take a lot. You know what? I think I'm just going to pull it out. I think we're going to go brand new, because I usually, yeah, I think I'm just going to go brand new with this. What the hell? Uh, get rid of all this stuff, because I'm not going to use it. There we go. Um, yeah. Crazy. All right, seats. Hmm. Yep, yep, okay. Yep. It is in need of some bad, sh this is in bad shape here so we got those those oh it's got a back seat to it all right hang on get that out of there all right to to your shop we go uh actually what was the seat for that What was the rear seat? A CUDA seat in Atlanta, everything else. So, CUDA rear seat, huh? Interesting. Okay, CUDA rear seat. Go Atlanta with the buckets. Oh, wait a minute, where is it? I thought there they are. Seat Atlanta. So, two of those. And instead of the basic steering wheel, the Atlanta steering wheel, I always go with the, the steering wheel right here. So, oh, wait a minute. No, you know what? We will stick with the Atlanta steering wheel. Yes, sir. We will stick with that. Oh, lost it. There we go. Oh, that's not the one I wanted. Let's put on the real one. There we go. All right. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And this thing's already painted red for me, so that's a good thing. I don't have to... Well, I'm going to have to paint it anyway because I've got to replace some... I have to replace some body panels to it. Uh, let's clean up the interior. That's a beautiful red. That is just a beautiful red. Hoo-hoo. Yes. Yes, sir. Cleaned up on the inside. Yeah. All right. Let's, uh, let's grab some parts. <clears throat> So, 
let's um, maybe if I just could put Chevelle in there maybe there's a 66 67 69 70 now I do have two 70 Chevelles in here uh, 70 Chevelle so I'm going to hope for the best here Um, door, glass. I'm just going with it right now. Left headlamp, 70 Chevelle. Okay, mirror. Trunk, rear bumper. Okay, so I'm hoping I've got the right Chevelle here. Because I do believe I have two Chevelle. Yeah, I got them all. Um, I believe there's two 70 Chevelles. Maybe I'm wrong. Um, but I thought there was. That's all right. Yep, 70 Chevelle. Bumper. Headlights. Headlights. Come on. Oof. Yeah. Uh, kind of got a little crazy there. I'm not digging the chrome on there, so I may take that out and replace it. Not digging the chrome steering wheel of the Atlanta, so that may get changed definitely. Uh, all right, now just just for giggles, we'll just go ahead and put uh, some California plates on here for Reacher. Two. Yeah, yeah that works. Alright, so she is done. Let's go ahead and empty out all my parts. Yeah, I'm going to. That's a 70. Oh, rear window. Nope. 71 bumper. Cuda. Alright, let's. Uh, did I get the rear window? I don't think I did. Oh, I did not. So let's replace that real quick. There we go. Um. Let's stick that in there. Yeah, there we go. I like that a whole lot better than I do the other one. Whew. All right, so I got that done and got that done. All right, so now is just left for the engine. And this bad boy has a um, V8 overhead magnum, a magnum. So let's roll over here. Now, this is going to be one that I haven't done in a while, seriously. So I don't know what all the parts are for it. I do like the choice of this one though in this car just because it's a Chevy orange color. So it's you know to me that's it's it's perfect. So it's an overhead cam C. So let's uh let's go here. Go here, go here, go to the engine. Overhead valve C. Boom. What do we got? Uh, oh, lots of parts, which I didn't think I was going to get. So that's going to be that there, that there. I think I'm going to need that there. Those two I'm going to need, definitely. Timing chain for the F, yes, definitely. Uh, brackets, yes. I need both of those for sure. And where is the bottom of that? Is there a bottom to that? Wow, I thought there was a bottom. Okay, so cam gear, maybe that. 
Um, why did I back out of there? Okay, let's go engine cap. So I know we're going to need Wait, to pick up eight of these because we know we're going to need them. Um, but the crankshaft cap, three of those. All right. Let's see what kind of trouble I can get into here. Uh, V8 for that. Ignition coil, filter, distributor. Okay, so uh, overhead. Okay. So let's jump into the performance parts here. Let's see what I can find. Fuel filter, nab that. Don't know about any of this stuff yet, so I'm going to have to. I'm trying not to waste any money. There we go. That's what we wanted. We wanted that one. Um, let's head down here to... I don't know if I have the heads for this or not in here. I don't think I do. Unfortunately. I think this is one of those cars that you do not have that pleasure of having a uh, rotor. Okay, so now I'm going to get... Uh, while I'm here, see, I don't know the pistons either. So let's bounce out. Put some of this stuff on. I need clips. <laughs> I picked that. Timing chain up, all right. Okay, so all that. Ah, uh, let's see here. Okay, so it's an I six and an F. Okay. Ugh. All right, and these are just pistons with conrods. All right, so we've got that pretty much labeled out. Let's go ahead and put these bad boys in. Alrighty. Now let's jump into, let's go here first, let's go clip. Well, I'm thinking about it, right? Let's get uh, a couple of distributor clips. Um, rings for the pistons, right? Put the rings for the pistons, oil, need a filter and a pan. So it was a regular V8 one. And the pan, right? Let's jump over to the performance shop here. Regular pistons times eight. Uh, I think this is the, no, power steering. That's the power steering pump I need. And I need the Another alternator here, the I6. There we go. Got those. All right. Oh, I could have gotten. I could have gotten a, a flywheel and stuff. Jeez, why didn't I think of that? Good thing about these engines is you don't have to deal with all the all the rocker arms. I don't believe I don't I believe this is pretty much set up. I think we still have to put the bow the uh, the rods in, but I don't think you have to do in individual 
individual rocker arms. Then it comes as a bank. That'll be good. That's done, and oil pan, and it's done. Filter, pump, alrighty. But now I've got to flip this bad boy over. That's exactly what we have for heads. Uh, okay, so they're the D heads. Alright. Go ahead and put these clips on while I'm thinking about it because I will forget. Okay, D heads. All right, let's see if these are in the performance shop. I don't believe they are. Pick up eight of those. I don't think I got those already. If I did, that was a waste. Ah, this is painful here. Uh, overhead valve. No, you know, I don't think... No, I don't think these are... <laughs> Damn. Oh, wait a minute. No, no, the H's. Or D's. So I've got to go to go to the other shop here. Let me grab throughout bearing. Definitely going to need the heads on that, and probably the intake. I don't know. <sighs> yeah, I've got to figure out which intake that is. the heads at. Here we go. Yep, so head A and I need head B. And I would hate to get the rods because I have a feeling it's the F rods but I'm not exactly sure so Yes, they are the F rods and D and, uh, exhaust manifolds. We we'll get those. So I tell you, I told you, I, I don't do these engines often, so it's kind of painful to watch me try to do this. All right, let's see if the, I don't think we have exhaust manifolds. Um, not these, yeah, we got them. So let's pick up a couple of those. While I'm in here, I know I'm gonna need, which ones are they here? I thought these, I thought they were in here. They're like the exhaust extensions for this particular type of car. Maybe not. Oh, right here. These, right here. There they are. So, definitely going to need two of those. Definitely going to need two of these. Definitely two of these. So, at least I got the exhaust system set up. Uh, let's go back here, get the rods, um, F rods, we're going to need 16 of these bad boys, let me scroll through here and see if I can
going to need got the heads got the valve covers got the exhaust manifolds distributor I've got intake and we need the intake so let's grab that uh, I got the pistons I got all that oh I'm gonna ne definitely need a fan which I think it's fan B I think uh, here we are, the rocker arms. Jeez. Uh, yeah, I need a set of those. You know, and for the belts, I have no idea. Oh, I think it's a Charlie's. So let's go Charlie A and Charlie B. There we go. That's what those are. Uh, we also need a uh, pump pulley. All right, we may have all the parts we we may have everything we need now. I can't guarantee it. It's always a possibility. I don't have the plug wires because I know these plug wires are different. I got the wrong set of wires, definitely. So I'm going to have to pick those back up. See, with all those, you get this whole bank here and a couple of bolts. <laughs> It's a pretty orange engine when you get the, when you look at it. It's nice. I like it. Uh, what kind of carburetor is that? It's a carburetor F. So, yeah. Park uh, plug. Spark plug. Spark plug. Get in there, my eyes are getting bad. I'm gonna have to put these rods in these holes. Woohoo, done. Get that done and out of the way. Yep. Don't have the wires. Uh oh, C belt, yes. And the fan. Ah, all right, I nailed that. Okay, so I need carburetor F and the wires. All right, so. Carburetor F. Ooh, yes. And the wires. Scroll down through here real quick. And I think it would be... Is it those? I don't know. <laughs> I honestly do not know. Nope, they're D wires. Guess what? I don't think they have D wires in the performance shop. I am screwed. I need the base. And don't have that at all. So I don't have D. Yeah. Yeah, I'll be damned. All right, let's uh, up over here. Wires, wire Go with the uh, 
There's D wires there. It's an F cover. There it is. Uh, what's the air filter for that? Oh, man. <laughs> CF. Okay, so we're going to pick that up and then we're going to jump over to performance shop, see if they have an F filter over there. I don't know if they do or not. <laughs> no. Good thing I picked it up, right? <sighs> Man. There's just so many missing parts. Missing some performance parts that we would love to see in this game. Oh my goodness. And cover and bolt. And I think we are done, ladies and gentlemen. Let's uh, take this bad boy off the stand. Yes. And mount it in the car. All right. Looks pretty good from out here. Let's throw some oil in it. There we go. Close the hood up. Now, I don't remember what, what transmission this bad boy does. All right, so. Ooh, there's a couple of different exhaust pipes in here we don't have. So, we've got that exhaust section, we've got that exhaust section, and that exhaust section. What is that? It's a B. Alright, so we've still got to gather those up. That's a stock piece. Easy, easy, easy. Uh, F gearbox. Alright, so... We are going to jump into um, the gearbox V8F. Do we have that in here? Yes. I'm gonna say um, for the exhaust, two Bs. Got those uh, starter. You need a starter. And I think I'm golden unless I sold my drive shaft, which I have done that in the past. Starter, yes. And drive shaft. So I'll have to hop into the editor eventually and fix the back of this drive shaft because it's a little off. All right, I believe we are 100% across the board. Yes, we are. Let's drop this bad boy down. Jack Reacher would be proud. All right, uh, first stop, paint job. Oh yeah, we are going, we are definitely going with the red. Ooh. Black. I want black stripes. There we go. Woohoo! Yes. Look at the beautiful, beautiful piece of machinery there. All right. Yep. All right. Dino time. Did it. That's what I'm talking about. 619 horsepower, 779 pounds of torque. That is, uh, it's pretty good. But, you know, not as much as some V8s that we have um, in this game. But that's fine. I I'm good with that. So there we have it. Jack Reacher's car. <laughs> I love it. I love it, love it, love it. All right, guys. Hey. Uh, 
thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed this episode as much hey that looks pretty good with the uh looks pretty good with the uh eddie van halen truck over there doesn't it heck yeah all right thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the episode and if you did please consider hitting that subscribe button down below i would love to have you as a subscriber so have fun out there keep customizing until next time, this is Hurst Quasar saying goodnight, and I am out.